nice you. things you can do to add life to your character is by adding props. So we're going to give you some great examples of what props are, how to use them, what's appropriate ways to use them, and maybe to give you ideas on, uh, I don't know, things that maybe you can choose your own props with. And so uh, we're also going to have some examples of what doesn't make a good prop as well as what will make an excellent prop. And so we're just getting completely set up here, but uh, got uh, quite a few things here. Obviously, you can't have a real gun because, you know, you don't want to be in a big furry animal costume trying to be cute with something that's really going to damage somebody's life. So, uh, a lot of the times, you're, you can have fake guns because that's more appropriate. And then, um, another thing is many first readers have limited visibility and so they can't see very well. You want to be able to operate this, this thing. You want to make it uh, kind of fun, maybe have a surprise in it, maybe, you know, a little squeak or something. But uh, you want to make sure it can be made safe as well. And then another thing is, will it damage somebody else's costume? Like, this is a real working earth gun, so you don't want to damage somebody else's costume with it. Um, so there's a time and a place for certain things as well. So make sure that that's important, that it can be made safe to use around others. And then also, is it too small? Is it going to be covered up? Because I've got an example of some paws here. And in these paws, this is uh, typically the size of a big furry animal paws. Okay, so, so is this click attacks fish? So that looks pretty good with the paws. There's my fish, right? I know. But there's a fish. But he kind of totally going to disappear in this big paw. So this won't make a good prop, but maybe an earring. Yeah, an earring. <laughs> so, um, but this is definitely a more appropriate size to go with your costume. And uh, so another thing is, is it too huge? Is it going to take up the entire hallway? Is it going to be like inconvenient to carry around? Beaky might be bordering on too huge, but he is pretty cute. So, <laughs> and then also, another important thing, is it going to be used on stage or is it going to be used in the halls? Certain things, are, it's not going to be as important if you can use them on stage because you won't have to worry about like other people being around you in close quarters compared to in the halls where you will have other people in close quarters and you want to make sure it's safe. Another thing is, is it fragile? Can it be transported? Because furry conventions are far away, many times people have to ship these items. And uh, also, can you carry it through the hall from your room? Is it going to break? Is it glass? You know, so you want to make sure that it's not a delicate, fragile item. So um, really good props are props that work. They, they're fun. They're, you know, kind of make people laugh and smile. and that's really the whole purpose why we have so many of these things. So first thing we're going to start out with is working with size. So always keeping in mind what makes a good prop. Is it safe? Can be made safe? But working with size. So obviously, well, maybe you can't get a ham this big, but is it really worth carrying around a real ham, right? No, but I can make a big ham. So maybe it'll inspire you to make a big ham too. Maybe a big steak, maybe a waffle. So. You know, a lot of the things that uh, I like to do is find an item that's particularly a small item that would be ridiculous and make it giant. So, <laughs> definitely a big taco, you know, <laughs> things like that. So that's my favorite thing to do when I'm working with props, is sizing up these props. So, you know, obviously for the um, zombie rainforest, I had a big crowbar and I had to defend some zombies. So, um, I had to make a safe prop that I could carry around the hall. And I made it ridiculously huge. So that's uh, something else that's uh, good to work with. So also working with size is clothing. You want to make sure your clothing will fit your character. Sure, it can fit you. Like this shirt that I'm wearing, it fits me. But it's going to look ridiculous if I wear it as a partial because my sleeves are going to puff out and it's not going to look so great. So try to find bigger clothes you can size up for your character as well. So something like this where there's lots of room in the sleeves, where you can get like some space to kind of move around. You don't want to restrict your movement when you when you have clothing on top of your character. So clothing clothing can make a very good problem. So what else are we doing with working with size? So we 
we want to make sure that we play off the, the original species. So, say we've got... Big costumes. A, a raccoon! Alright, now raccoons are like this big. Maybe they can be bigger if they eat lots of trash. But uh, <laughs> raccoons are like this big. But think about how big that little raccoon's little grabby paws are. You know, how big is that, uh, I don't know, maybe he's fish. fish. Yeah, maybe he's going to steal this fish. You know, does he want a big fish or a little fish? He's going to want the biggest fish he can find. Really. So think about what your character is if it was its actual animal. You know, big, giant, larger than life representation of your animal. You want to make sure that your prop that you, you choose is big. You know, because he's not gonna, he's not gonna be full off of that little bitty thing that she had. He's gonna, he's gonna really want to fill his tummy with his beaky over here. So, <laughs> kind of, kind of play with that. Kind of play with size and 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 uh, what things you could find or what things you could make that have a bigger size. So, going to the next section. Well, clothes are a big thing with a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people in partial costumes. A lot of people like use clothing with their fur suits. Click is a good example. Yeah, he's got a flight suit on. Here, go ahead and stand up and turn around. Although that's not a prop that he can carry, that is certainly a prop that he can use to make his costume appropriate with the convention. Because obviously he's got his NASA patch, he's got his American flag. He's definitely on the Astro first side. So <laughs> we we've got a great example of using something like a flight suit as a prop with his with his thing. And now I don't know if he's wearing his whole costume under there. No. But it looks like he could be. That's why I had to touch him. So you know he could be he, he looks perfectly fine with uh, with the way his size of his flight suit is. So try to pick some clothes that'll, that'll look like they fit your character and not just you. And then uh, even if you like the kind of sexy look or anything like that I don't know, those, those really skin tight things, nobody looks good in those. So, with a little bit bigger size, it can still be sexy if you insist on that. But pick a bigger size that'll fit your character, not just you. So, another big thing is themes. So, working with the convention's themes, um, obviously you can go with the convention theme or your own theme. It doesn't have to be the theme of the convention. You know, some of them are pretty challenging. And uh, I know I had a big challenge with Rainforest, although I love dressing up for the um, thing. I, I wasn't quite sure what kind of props would go with it or anything like that. So I, after like a lot of thought, oops, things are disappearing. <laughs> this poor guy in the front row. Oh man. <laughs> so so I, I picked something that like you could choose your own theme within within what you want to work with. You don't have to go with the convention theme, obviously. And maybe you want to go with a Hawaiian theme. What, what do you think would be a good Hawaiian? Uh, uh, besides a leg? Yes, besides a leg. <laughs> but, uh, pineapple? Pineapple would be a good thing. Grass skirt. A grass, skirt. yeah, a little skirt, coconut bra. <laughs> so I think any of those things. But if you have a pineapple, you don't want to just have like the fruit. Because it's just going to, I mean, they're about this big. And then once fursuit paws get over it, I mean, fursuit paws are about the same size as a pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, see, if, if this blue guy here was holding a pineapple, you just see the little spike things coming out of the top. And... So you'd want to make a big, big stuff, or maybe an inflatable pineapple that you could get at the mm -hmm. party store. store. Yeah. So but it's all about being a little more creative than people would expect you to be. And all that kind of stuff. You want an obvious theme, because if you get too refined in your theme or too very specific, you kind of have to do those things pretty well for it to come across. And then it gets a little bit more challenging. And this would be a good, good example of, say you have a whole story world that your character exists in and it's a high fantasy and you've got you know monarchies and hierarchies and everything and your character is the crown prince of something land well if you dress as the crown prince of something land people aren't going to really understand like if they just see you across the room what you are or how like they're not going to get it make sure that your theme of course is a, a pretty obvious theme that everybody can get and that uh, um, even playing off the conventions themes, you can think of a lot of different ideas that'll go with that. You know, the flight suit, obviously, different patches, you know, missiles and, and space food and all kinds of cool stuff that can go with it. Maybe you're an alien, maybe you're an alien something or other that has like little alien things. As long as it's like obviously alien, that's kind of, everybody's going to kind of get that immediately. And it's kind of going to be a little more fun than having people try to figure you out. So, um... Going with the theme, again, is holidays are a great thing to go theming with. 
and uh, you know, obviously Halloween's coming up and there's going to be a lot of merchandise on the market that you're going to be able to take advantage of for Halloween themed costumes or say you want Christmas or you know I think September uh, 19th was Talk Like a Pirate Day so you could kind of get in with that kind of the thematic business with that kind of thing and uh, um, also adding holidays to your costumes is you can have something as simple as a bandana although this isn't a holiday bandana, but you festive can go, you, a festive banana, bandana. <laughs> <laughs> there was a typo originally. <laughs> there was. It was a festive banana at one time in my handout. But you can go with the colors of your holiday. Say it's Valentine's Day and you want to go with pinks and reds. You can kind of jazz up your costume with a little bit of bandana and still keeping a theme, a holiday, <clears throat> and still keeping with something that's easily recognizable, is safe, is everybody will know about it. Well, and on top of everything, it doesn't alter your costume. It, that's true. It doesn't, you're not sewing or gluing anything to your suit. Right? Yeah. So, so it's something that can be completely stripped off and no harm, no foul. Mm -hmm. cool. And Mangle was an angry Akita, and he carried this around as a warning to other furries, don't get too close, <laughs> because, uh, you know, it was, uh, it's a, it's a prop hand for Halloween, of course. Sticking and, the trunk. Uh, so <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty clever prop, and uh, we love it so much. It's our favorite. My favorite. I don't know about Molly's favorite. I keep finding it in my closet. It's <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, a so warning. It's came away. Put it in the shower. <laughs> so, so don't don't discredit props that you can find other places. Go to party stores. Party City is a big one that's a national chain. There's also uh, Valley Village <coughs> every year has a fantastic giant Halloween department. Like, go in it and find and see their big props that they have. They've got some like big caveman bones. They've got all kinds of things that you could just browse the aisles and find something that you find clever, silly, cute, fun, ridiculous, anything. There's a, there's a concept that's like the three-foot roll. You know, you won't really get more than maybe this close to another person when you're interacting with them. Even if you get really close with like hall costumes and stuff, there's going to be too much movement. You're going to not notice that there's like something about it. So even if you make your own props, don't worry about it if it's not perfect. The important part is you're having fun, you have something. And uh, uh, many of the also found props that are out there, like this one has a little bendy thing. I think my dog got it. But uh, I don't know if anybody even noticed that. So, you know, who cares? It's a fun thing. So it's going to be more important that you have your object. And uh, um, the second category of objects is made objects. And many of these things on the table are made objects, like this ham, this brain. You know, I think this one squeaks. <laughs> so a lot of my things uh, that I make, I add things oh, to to make them a surprise. Now, I, I don't use these a lot because squeakers can be very annoying. So please, if you have squeakers, don't overuse them. They can get annoying very quick in a loud situation. Uh, like a furry convention. But uh, I don't think this waffle has a squeaker in it. I think this is one of my first ones that I didn't add a squeaker to. But it certainly is cute with his little strawberries and butter. And uh, so the ham has a grunter. And, you know, I, I kind of keep these a surprise when I'm doing um, a, an event. So then I don't have something always being noisy. And like this is a... <coughs> I think it's a belt for Hawaii belt, but we use it as a choker on Brighton. Brighton's a big dog monster. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, here's Brighton. <laughs> He's huge. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Pull him up high, please. So, oh, as, a, oh, as a big oh, collar oh. on a big fursuit, you can uh -huh. use a belt. Maybe you can make it a little bit shorter if you need to, and this would be a great found object where you could just find this mm -hmm. at a thrift store, off the shelf, and then you could, you could put it together with your costume to make something really cool.